What's happening, Booth Junkies? Mike Delgadio here, and I've got another quick tip for you on how to render MP3s in Reaper. If you're a new voice actor, one of the things you'll find is that you have to submit your auditions in MP3 format. For many voice actors, we use the Reaper Digital Audio Workstation. I'm a big proponent of it. I'm a big fan of Reaper. Uh, but by default, Reaper doesn't have the ability to render MP3s. Luckily, there's a version of the MP3 rendering library that you can download and install. So if you try and render a file to an MP3, you'll get a message that says lame unavailable. Now, lame is the name of that open source library for rendering to MP3. If you click that lame unavailable, turns out that's a button and it will tell you that there's a location here that where you should install the lame library and it gives you a link where you can download the lame library. So if you click that download link, it takes you to a website. There's lots of these websites out there. It's hosted all over the place. Uh, but the file you're going to look for is this lame library. I'm on a Mac. Um, so you'll be able to, that's the one you're probably going to look for. But if you're on Windows or 64-bit Windows, you download the version that's right for you. So we'll just save that link to the desktop. And once it's downloaded, we, should, we can close our browser and we'll close out of Reaper also. So let's close and let's close down Reaper. So here we have the library here on our desktop. Now that zip file really only contains one thing and it's the this thing called the dynamic library that's the actual guts that reaper needs in order to render and we need to put that file in a very specific spot so i'll just copy this file and then i'll open up finder and once i have finder open i need to put it in the users library folder which by default is a hidden directory it's one that you can't see by default but there's a trick to it. So if you click the Go menu, you'll see you get this list of all these different locations. If you press the Option key on your keyboard, you'll see you get this new choice that says Library, which is doesn't tell you that anywhere. I had to Google for it. But if you hold down that Option key on your keyboard and then click Library, you'll come to a new folder that's got sort of all the settings for all the different applications. And you just scroll to the first folder, that's the Application Support folder. And then you scroll down to find Reaper. And within Reaper, there's the User Plugins folder. And then you paste that file, be that you unzipped, that dynamic library, you just paste that into that folder, and you're done. You can close Finder. And now when we go back to Reaper, and you go to Render a New Project, you can choose MP3 as an option, and you'll see that it now says, instead of lame unavailable, it now says the version number of lame that you have installed. And you can choose the appropriate bitrate and whether you want constant or variable bitrate encoding. I tend to leave mine at constant bitrate and 192 kilobits because that's the default setting that Amazon wants if you record for ACX for them. Now, once you're, once you're set, now your renders to MP3 should work. I hope this helps. Now get in your booth and record some amazing MP3s. All right, so you know how this works, right? So it's the end of the video, and we've got a little screen here with two other videos that I think might be helpful for you. They might have some good information, especially if you want to become a voiceover artist. Lots of tips and tricks in here, so go ahead and click one of those videos. But before you go, if you would, just click on that subscribe button for me, would you? I'd really appreciate it. Did you click it? Oh, I hope you did. Well, anyway, we'll see you at the next video, and I look forward to bringing more to you. Thanks.